All right, welcome to the Sweet Talk. Today is Thursday, um, August 27, 2020. Um, I am your host, Kim Matina. I am a, gold, uh, a Google certified trainer and educator, as well as a gold product expert and a technology teacher. And today, I am so happy to have on my show. Today's a special episode for Miss Paula from Slive Mania. Woohoo, Paula! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to have you on. I, I really, it's a pleasure to meet you. Um, Thank you. you. I, I mean, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, be flexible with my international guests, but when it's Paula from Slides Mania, I got to like make sure she's on. <laughs> so welcome to the Sweet Talk. Thank you so much, Kim. Thank you for inviting me and thank you for uh, adapting to my hours here. No, and, I appreciate uh, your flexibility with me too. So it's all good. No problem. It's an honor to have you on and, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Um, I know, um, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, sure. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm Paula, the, the gal behind Slice Media. It's just me. There's no one else behind Slice Media or Twitter or Facebook or whatever. It's always me. And uh, I am from Uruguay. English is not my first language, so I, I will get stuck. I will forget words, and you please apologize. <laughs> apologize me, uh, because I apologize. Sorry. See. Don't worry. Uh, my first, <laughs> my first mistake there. Um, so, well, I'm from Uruguay, but I live in Spain. I have an amazing nine-year-old daughter, and I work in finances. So I'm not. I do not work in anything related to education or design. I just love design and that's why I created Slice Mania. So you're not in education. I thought you were in education. That's no, interesting. Not. So you work full time in yes. finances? Yes, I work for an international faith for order and their uh, finances, uh, financial department. That's that's what I do <laughs> from, nine to, from nine to six every day. Wow. Okay. Well, I honestly had no idea. I um, I really thought Slides Mania was your like primary, you know, job. Yeah. So <laughs> I work with Mania, Slides Mania on weekends. How did Slides Mania happen? Then how did, I, it, how, did how was it born? I always love the sign, and I used to use a lot of like PowerPoint or Google Slides when Google Slides was uh, started on like was online. And I started using those tools to create like little banners and presentations and stuff. And I ended up having a lot of templates. So one day my husband told me, why didn't you like, put them up on a website? And I did. And a lot of those templates, they're not even there anymore because I'm gonna drink water, sorry. It's okay. Because at first, when I started creating templates, like they, they were just for me. They, I, wanted, I wasn't thinking of, of uh, sharing them. They were kind of basic, you know, like general use, pretty basic. I, I don't have, again, I'm not a designer, so I, I don't have any, like, any uh, studies behind. So I'm just, it's just me learning how to do stuff. And when I started sharing them and I started uh, interacting with people on Twitter, and I start receiving feedback. That feedback like pushed me to work harder or to become like, you have to do it better. You have to do it like, it has to be pretty, prettier and stuff. So that's why I like this, this site is evolving with me because I'm learning as I go. And lately I've been pushing myself harder to like to make them uh, better without having them to feel like a responsibility or a job. I always say the same as I don't want Slice Mania to feel like a job because I love it and I don't want I don't want to like just like uh, spoil it. That's the word. I don't know uh, to become like something. That, oh, you have to do this. Now I enjoy it and I enjoy pushing uh, myself like harder and go like this has to be better. So wow, that's I am I am <laughs> so like. We have a lot in common. I, uh, I, because that's how I feel about the sweet talk. Like, it's a, it's so you're telling me it's like a passion project. Exactly. Right. You know. So once it feels like a job, then 
it's, it's not fun anymore. It's not fun anymore. So like, and that's how I feel about my show. So, and you know what? It's amazing because like, so if anybody, so I'm taking it for granted that people know what Slides Mania is. Why don't you tell them what Slides Mania is? Because oh, sure. we may have new people that don't know what it is. I can, I, I can share my screen if you want, and I can just uh, show uh, the website. Let me just give me one minute. Share screen, hold it. I think I got it. Share. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'm good. Well, this is a slice mania. This is my my virtual home. This is my happy place. <laughs> so, what you will find here is a lot of different templates for uh, Google Slides or PowerPoint, and Again, you're gonna find for business, education, and then you can have here uh, formal ones, the fun ones that I enjoy the most. Uh, simple ones, this is for you to see all. You can search by colors. I have how to section and uh, by educators for educator section. This ones over here are not mine. These are templates that have been created and shared uh, from educators from all over the place. So. You can, if you want to share your templates, you can submit it, submit them here. And then you have the ones I create, and I always say the same uh, when people this new to Slice Mania. It's the first time you go to the site. I always recommend just browse through the whole thing, so you know what you what I have, what you can find. Mostly because if you're gonna use this search box over here, I am not very good at writing descriptions. So if you want to look like just straight there, you're probably not gonna find unless you know the name of the template or you know like how it kind of looked when you first saw it. So uh, I have like a lot of different types under educations. I have the notebooks the digital notebooks and you can just get your copy uh, for PowerPoint or Google Slides and you can start adding your content or you can customize them first. I have, this one is a little bit short. I need to work more on this one. Um, for um, uh, Lego blocks, this is for math and this is for like more elementary kids. The toy sports and games, again, you have different choice boards and stuff. The weekly planners. This is for you to get all your resources together for the week. I'm gonna show you one in a bit. And then I have the yearly planners. So this, this is for the whole year. Again, um, when I started working on the templates that un are under the education, Tab. That was mostly because of the pandemic. And keep in mind that I know there are a lot of teachers, I know I read them on Twitter, that are very uh, techy teachers. So, and those don't need my help. They're fantastic that they know all the tools out there and they are kind of felt like this transition to remote or hybrid learning like the, the were the like, ones that went through the smoothest I don't know if that fits. that's right yeah but I also know there are a lot of teachers that they were not ready and all they feel right now it's just uh, overwhelming feel, exactly exactly because what there's so many me. it's crazy because like the first thing I always say to a teacher that's that uh, gets in touch with me is go to Twitter. You'll learn a lot from there. Follow some hashtags, some people there, and you're gonna learn a lot. But I know when there are a lot of tools there, and everything is that it's overwhelming the quantity of, the, of tools and files and stuff there uh, around. And I know that doesn't help to those who are not feeling comfortable with technology or with the whole situation. So I always say that start small, try to find one tool that helps you, like that 
covers most of your needs and master that one tool and then you can move to another one but try to like baby steps because i know it can be quite overwhelming to try to conquer everything so and i know I, a lot of i am so thankful for all of your work and everything that you've put together on your website because um like i've used many of your templates in the past just for like lessons that I've done in my technology class, but now going through and starting uh, hybrid or virtual learning, um, you know, I know I've used um, one of your templates to push out to work for students and teachers, and um, we're using one of the templates as um, in the district as well. Um, so like, I, I do appreciate all the work that you've done because it's not, like, you know, you can't turn something over that valuable that quickly. It, it takes time and, and you're putting in the time to make a productive and um, a great template. You know, it's very useful. Um, you. So I really appreciate it, you know. Um, and, and I do want to let people know, too, like, you know, I consider myself tech savvy. I really do. <laughs> you know, you are. You are. <laughs> I was trying to figure out something in one of your templates and I'm saying to myself, this, it's gotta be an easier way to do this. I am doing this way too hard. And honestly, like I messaged Paula, Paula through Twitter. Hey Paula, I'm trying to do this. How do you do this? And then she told me right away and boom, it was done. Like, so like, she's not only designing um, these templates, but she's also like supporting you. If you have questions, you can ask her and she's very, yeah. very kind, very open and very helpful in, in that. So I, I appreciate it. I really do. And I, I, I could have like, for me, that was like priceless because I I'm saying to myself, ah, she's not going to text me back right away because she's busy. And then within like minutes I had a response. I'm like, Oh my God, this is awesome. <laughs> I, I try to reply as, as because I know that when like if you if you send me a message or anybody else send me a message, I know that if they kind of questions because they're working at this at the moment they're at working time, on the template. Right? Yeah. So if I don't reply right away, they might get stuck because they don't know how to like keep going. And I have to like I always say like I live in Spain. We have uh, I have sometimes I get a lot of messages uh, during the night, and I try to reply them as soon as I wake up. But I do I I do try to reply all. And I if someone has a question, I they can send me a message through Twitter or an email or whatever, and I try to reply. I also created a Facebook group because sometimes I receive a lot of questions and I don't get to reply as fast as I wish that I, that I could. And so people can just post their questions there and other educators can help me out. So that's that that helped me to, to try to uh, answer any questions like on time. So, right. but it's yeah, my pleasure. Not, it's, it's, <laughs> so. No, it's, it, I mean, that, that was smart because, you know, it's a lot for one person to handle. So to put the Facebook group together and then let other educators help each other, you know, is, is great, you know, so because it could be overwhelming just on yourself. <laughs> yes, yes. It was a, 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 one particular week when I thought that I was going, I wasn't going to be able to make it because I had like ton of emails without that I had to answer a lot of messages on Twitter. It was crazy. And on top of that, I, summer is the busiest time of the year for my day job. So I always try to schedule myself like three times a day. I go into Twitter and reply everything I see, like all the, I see all the notifications, but I couldn't do it. So I was like, I can't, this is, I have to clone myself or something. So. That's why I appreciate all the teachers that jumped in in the Facebook group and they're answering questions and trying to help. Is I I couldn't I couldn't do it all by myself. Yeah, I mean you definitely need you definitely need help. So I'm glad <laughs> you know I'm glad that you were able to to use that resource and and alleviate some of that stress because we don't want you to stop. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I won't stop. It's therapy for me. It's, uh, I always say that it's uh, working with numbers and stuff that gets you all like stressed and s you have a lot of deadlines and stuff. And one I had the weekend or after sex when I just close my, uh, shut my computer, my work computer, and I can start working on my stuff. I'm like, I open my drive and I start working on something. And that's, it's I like feel like me. I'm yeah. like, <laughs> that's your de-stress. That's your method. Totally. totally so. so, so Paula, tell us how, like, how long does it take to, to like, so open up a, a, you know, a template and then like walk us through, walk us through a template and then like, kind like how, how often, like not how often, but how long does it take from, for you to, <clears throat> to Great. complete a whole new one? You know, start, uh, from start to finish, you know? I, it depends, like the simple ones where they have just, like this one, it was pretty easy because it's very simple. This one is like five, four hours, not more than that, because it only has like regular shapes and it doesn't have many layouts. So this one is easy, but then you have another ones like, well, I always, the best example would be, let's see, this one. The file cabinets, I always say this one was the, one of the hardest. This one took like 10 hours to make because it has a lot of links. So that's why yes, this one yeah. is the one that you can click on you. each yeah. folder and it will open each folder and each drawer and stuff. So this one, this one took a lot. And so but, when, you, when you create your, like your, this template, the file cabinet, so how do you, um, like I know, I know what you're doing behind the scenes with the slides, but like, what about the graphics? Uh, this is all shapes. I always it's all shapes. Okay. Yes. I'm, yes. I'm going to show you here. Well, for those, if you're going to, if you want your template uh, to open in Google Slides, just click on this button here. And if you want to download the PowerPoint versions, just this button over here. So I'm going to open it in Google Slides, and I'm going to click on Use Template. For those that never been on the website, yeah, before. no, I want you to, I want you to show it. So this is the template. Now I'm gonna let it load. There you go. I'm gonna go to slide, edit master, and this is where you see. If I right click on the, oh, this is link. Sorry, the hold it. There you go. Sorry about that. I'm gonna ungroup it. So now it's because I'm sharing screen. Every time I share screen, yeah, it gets super slow. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so this is what you see. This is oh the, wow. Okay. These are the shapes that wow. make the, the template. That's even more time consuming. Yeah, I mean, they have to make shape by shape. And then the drawer, here's an open drawer, is the same. So I'm going to just right click on, well, this is the link again. I'm always clicking on the link. I'm going to move it. I'm going to group it. And this one has even more shapes because it's, uh, each folder has two shapes. Oh, so my goodness. I can't believe. <laughs> This like, is all there is behind the template. Oh, well, here are more, more shapes. <laughs> <laughs> this is you just blew is. my mind. Like, I, I don't have the patience to do that. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could just copy and paste and then change the color, the fill, but to have the patience to do that, that's, oh my goodness. I, 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 I it's therapy. It's, yeah, yeah. I, you I, I must get lost. really be like distressing from your numbers. Totally, but in, in, I don't. I don't like. If, like my husband is like talk talk on my door. I'm like, what? You've been here for four hours. Oh, 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 really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Time. Yeah. Well, that's totally. amazing. I had no idea that they were all shapes. That yeah, so I have. What is it? I think I have another one. Education. You're Wait. getting. You're getting like wows in the in the, uh, <laughs> in the chat. Like I'm just letting you know, like you just blew my mind and other people's mind um, because that's so time consuming. And then to think 
you're actually like thinking out of the box too. Like I like that yeah. because you're showing well, this now. The idea, now the idea of it uh, the drawers being open that was here. I'm going to show you. This was where is it? Because I'm always like being inspired by everything you create. So where is it? Sorry, that's taking so long. I, that's I didn't okay. Know. Take your time. Here. Mangai created this template where you could open the drawers. And I was like, I love this concept. So you got inspired from. And I'm like, I'm going to try to make something like this. And that's where this came <laughs> to life. <laughs> so, yeah. I just uh, can't believe that that all those details are all shapes like that just yeah blew my mind. totally I say, blew my mind. <laughs> same with this like always say that i'm always trying to learn how to do things so i tried i wanted to do like gems and stones so again these are a lot of shapes yeah why so somebody's asking why the individual shapes separate separate links on each one I guess why do you have separate separate lengths on each shape? Separate length and on this template over here? Uh, I'm not sure. Somebody's asking why do you have individual shapes and then separate lengths on each one? Because uh, different lengths does the file cabinet. The shapes is because I if I use uh, images, you cannot change their colors, right? I can, I would, well, let me put this together. See, like, there you go. Like I could create this, right? Make a shape or save it an image or whatever, or I can use an image, but that's not what I want because I want uh, to give you the possibility to change color. So if I want my file cabinets to be green, I don't know, maybe you like green. It's gonna take a little while because it's kind of slow right now there oh there it goes yep see uh you can update the whole thing and that's why i use shapes and not uh images same with okay. the folders if i want to change the folders i will change just the pink one for a red one and we're going to see it in a little bit there, yeah, there it will update okay so that's why and this one in particular has a lot of links because each drawer open some click as I have to show you here. I'm gonna just show it there. I have a link on Monday, so it opens Monday. And I have on Thursday another one, on Tuesday another one, and they're all links that have taken you to a different day. That's not a problem because they were if I only did the drawers, I would only had to add five links, but because I wanted to grab the folders each folder has a link. So this folder is thinking, uh, sorry, I wanna just put it back there, there. Topic A opens this slide over here where the folder is out. And if I click here, there's another link where the paper is out of the folder. And same for each folder. That's why it has so many. That's why, right, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just blew me away. And, <laughs> you know, it's funny that I, I, you know, a lot of people don't use the shape tool. And I like how you use the shape tool um, to, you know, to recreate your filing cabinets or like a cloud or a bubble or whatnot. Because, you know, we think of, we don't think of shapes in that way. And it's no, we think of, well, like it. Yeah. yeah, it's a very creative that you that you use the shape tool within slides to create your graphics. I mean, to me, that's that's even more impressive because I really think that's like like an artistic side or vision that you have that you're not giving yourself enough credit for and <laughs> no, that you're so able I to do to that. Do change colors or just to move things around. If I only had like backgrounds, fixed backgrounds, like yeah. you wouldn't be able to move things or I don't want the folder here. I wanted to move it over there or I don't want, I don't where is it? I want this this button to be somewhere, uh, some, somewhere else. I want to move it. 
So you can do that and you can move everything around and you can change the colors and everything because they're shapes. If I use something else, you could, you wouldn't be able to do that. So, right. So have you, you still have the cus the availability, the um, option to customize it if you need to. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You can just do whatever you want as, and you can move everything. Again, there are just a few templates that use images, very few of them. That's Most amazing. Because, I mean, I, I actually use this choice board <laughs> template. And, um, you know, when I first learned about Slides Media a couple months ago, honestly, like I'm, I'm kind of like a newbie, I guess. <laughs> and, um, you know, a couple months ago, this was my first template that I used. And I'm like, what? What? Oh, OK. I understand why she grouped it. OK, I understand why she put the the, you know, the link control exactly. over the exactly. cloud, like she's high, you know, like, so it kind of was following some of your logic behind it, but you know, it's, it, it, I mean, I used it. I loved it. The kids loved it. Like, you know, it was different. It's not like that same old PowerPoint or Google slide presentation. It's a little bit more engaging and interactive, you know, yeah. prettier, you know what I mean? So, you know, it does appeal to, to the kids and to, to staff too, teachers as well. Yeah, I know that. I guess I know that most of them, like a lot of my templates are like more for elementary. You know, I, I've received like, do you have something for like uh, high school or college? And I, I know it's because I always say that like my daughter is my inspiration. So I know what she's doing at school. So I try to how how would I put it using slides? Right. But that's why it look a little bit like this one in particular looks very elementary, but. Uh, as wait for my daughter to grow up because as long as she grows up, I'll, I'll be like evolving with her. That's funny. You know, you could do a STEM one just so just so you know. STEM. Yeah, I have. I I'll have, put a request in. Yes, I have a lit. I had a form on the website, but I had to close it because I would need like two lives to make them all. <laughs> So, but I, I'm still like taking like uh, if someone asked me like the passport, the uh, the passport template. The passport yes. one was cool. Yeah. Yeah, that one was asked by uh, Jimena. She's from Spain, and that was like okay, I can do it, and it was something that I could do easy and uh, fast. So I'm like, I'm gonna do it, no, no problem. So I created the passport template, and I've seen that it's being used, and I love what teachers are creating with this, and. Um, so I do. I, I'm still receiving uh, requests. Maybe I'm not working as fast as I as I should to complete them all, but I try. I try my best. So that's all you can do is try your best. That's that's it. I mean, it's. I, I mean, I think it's amazing. I, I really. I like I said. I appreciate everything that you that you put together. Um, I wasn't aware that you had a, web, a, a part of your website that could. Um, make suggestions or even share um, yeah. the template. So if you want, I can share what I have. I, I did, uh, I used this cloud one. I have one from uh, the notebook and I did one for, uh, it was like more of a computer one. I mean, I can show you and and you can certainly share if you want. Um, it's I, love it. I love it, I love it. I really, I really can't believe it. Now, so when you, so on this particular template here, the the choice board one, the gem, if you go through it. So now you're thinking, okay, you have to make, um, you have to make each slide like a master slide in the, in your template. So like, how do you figure out like what uh, layout would be available? Do you have all the layouts available in each uh, template or is it more or less like, these are the layouts that we're doing. Um, and then maybe I'll throw a couple extra ones in. Like how, how do you, how do you go through that thinking as far as the layouts? I, the I, 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 when it, it's not like the presentation templates, I have like a, my, my set of layouts that I create are designed for those uh, layouts. Like they're kind of repeating, but for this template, I just go a lot, like, I, I create as I go. I don't, I don't, I'm not that, I don't have like a, 
a, a line of thought when I'm creating. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like sometimes I, I, I it takes me more time to um, complete them because I don't have an idea of how it's gonna end up looking. You know what I mean? Okay. Yep. Yep. I start thinking I have an idea. Like I, uh, I want to. For this one in particular, what was that? I want I want to learn how to create those that that, that look that uh, shiny look. So, and once I created the stones, the gems, I was like, where can I put them? What can I do with them? So, I started doing this one, but I don't have. I never know how the template is gonna end up looking because I and I change them a lot. Yeah, so, yeah. So I'm not, I don't I don't work in particular layouts or anything. I just okay. go and I'm. <laughs> so like this this particular one, I'm just trying to follow your thinking here, right? So I mean, I get it because you're kind of like and you're kind of creating on the fly. It sounds like as yeah. you go, that's what you're doing. So like with this particular template, like on this. On this slide here, if you do a slide layout, is it a blank slide layout? No, no, it's never. Uh, uh, you can go here and, and see what you have behind. So this is the like layout. There's no tech like that's there's no text boxes on that. So is that like and a this blank? one? No, this one is a blank one with only has a shape because I'm using uh, word text art. Text box, word art. Okay. Because I wanted. Uh, I don't know why I use word out for this one in particular because I didn't add any borderline or anything, but I, I, I was working with word, word art and I went with it. But you, you can do like change it. I don't know. As this one is also being used as day activity, as daily activities, or if you want like. Um, you put, yeah, you could put a word in there and whatnot. Exactly, because I know a lot of teachers don't need uh, many slides per day. For, for like for each day, they just want like one for Monday, one for Tuesday, and stuff. So they can use this ones too, because again, it's all editable. Uh, but yeah, I don't have much of a this like the ones this layouts over here. They do have the placeholders, but. This ones are just yeah. Uh, there's just like the graphics. The shapes. exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's amazing. So this, so this one was more or less like an easy one, or was this one more of a harder one? Um, it was not hard. What what's hard is I wanted to use theme colors, and theme colors only comes with three, uh, six accents, like this six accents over here. I needed to add a lot of different shapes to get different uh, to accomplish the shad different shadow colors like the shades. Sorry, because I couldn't do like uh, a lighter green and a darker green. I needed to use just one green and make it look like different shades of green. Right. So that's why I had so many shades. But again, it's only because I want like I'm gonna just change it so you see it because I want there. I want you to be able to. Right. To change them. But that's that this one didn't didn't take that much. It was just the time was to figure out how to get all the different uh, shades using just one color. Okay. Wow. I, I just wow. I just can't believe it. Now if you show your notebook one. So if you go back to your website yeah. and I'm, I'm gonna go to here. Which one is it? Um, so, yeah, so was that one on the top? Uh, this this one is are the newest, the ones that no, I not uh, those. scroll down. The that hyper that one. Yeah, hyper dot. Okay. There you go. So, this one was this one considered one of your time consuming ones, or was this considered an easy one for you? No, this is time consuming because I had because I wanted the flipping pages and I had to move the tags one side and set them correctly and stuff. But the good thing is I always try to recycle things. So the rings here came from the scrapbook template. So I try to like, I grab resources that I created uh, before and I use them on the new ones. But this one is like, I don't know, four or five, power, five hours. Nothing takes me less than like two or three hours because I, again, because I'm not a professional, 
I, I'm learning as I go. It takes me a while, and because I'm not like this, and be, also because I don't know how the final product is gonna, it's gonna look. And, yeah, and I look, so I, it's like it's done when I think it's done. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, <laughs> and it's probably. Do you get a lot of feedback from people? Like yes. So does that help? I mean, I'm sure that helps you with determining yeah. on what kind of things you may need to add or take away, right? Yes, that's, uh, I received that, that a lot of feedback, a lot of emails and stuff. And people ask me, like, that's why, again, I try to make them as like, you can edit everything because for the tabbed notebooks, I like a lot of people are like, I need only four, I need one, I need three, I need five. So that's why I try to make them with shapes so you can remove the ones you don't need and stuff. The digital notebooks were like something that people were asking a lot because I didn't have much, uh, many of them before. I, ha I had like notebook style. I have, where are they? This one, they were like the, the first digital notebooks that I had. And then a lot of people started asking. So I created more. Yeah. And I was, one thing I, I would say, is, that's it's a recurring question, is how do you change the tabs? That was my question. Yes, you asked me that, and a lot of people ask me. And I always try to, uh, on the description of this template, not the presentation ones that don't, that don't have that many, like you can change colors and stuff, but they don't have any text or anything that you want to keep. So I always try to, write little how to on the okay description. that's good to know yeah all right because so i know on, a the, people, on the page you usually put yeah. like a little bit of directions in there okay exactly i i try to like make them make it easier for people to uh change things and stuff or little tips like for this one all the digital notebooks that have tabs i always say do not add more slides just duplicate the ones that i uh, that I include on the template because if you add slides, the links won't be there. But if you duplicate existing uh, slide, links will be there. You don't have okay. to have them, uh, add them again. So that's why I try to uh, add some tips and stuff on the descriptions. Is again, I'm gonna open it. Well, that's good to know because I honestly like I didn't read that. Um, I just downloaded the template and then I was just, I started to work. So I'm glad that you pointed that out because, you know, if I didn't see it, maybe, you know, somebody else may have not, you know, known it was there either. So that's, that, and this template, I, I, you know, I was trying to like change the tabs of the, yes. of, of the words on the tabs. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to create, I'm going to create a, a, a shape, a shape, the color of the fill. And fill Too it much in work. and put it on Too top, much work. and I'm like, oh yeah. And then I didn't realize, like, when you turn the page, it the has. It you have to take it again. It. I'm like, oh no, 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 this isn't good. Yeah, this no, that's an easy way. exactly. That's why oh, for this ones, always go to edit, find, and replace. And the first word is engage. So I'm gonna. I want I want the top to be named after you. So. <laughs> and I'm going to click on replace all. And now it's always can. Yeah. It, it was just page. like, oh my goodness. Unbelievable. <laughs> I couldn't believe that it was that easy, you know? And, and you know what it is too? It's, it's nice. Like, because you, you know, you, you actually explained it to me in, in text uh, over Twitter and I'm like, okay, yeah. Like, I know it's there, but I don't use that. You know what I'm saying? So you actually made like, you made me be more aware of that option that that's there in Google Slides. You know what I mean? So exactly, not just for I, this template, for any other template. Any, or, right? Exactly, exactly. So yeah, you, uh, you for some templates you have to edit the master to change some stuff. I mean, you could go to Slide Edit Master here. And try to like here. There's a link, so I have to move it first. Why do I have links on the master on this case? Because and also on the slides, 
I also try to think that if you delete a link, because I've been asked, like, uh, I broke it. I, I broke your links, Paula. And I don't mind, like, some uh, people have been sharing uh, their files with me so I can put their links back. But I use the links on the master as a backup link. So if you ever delete a link on the slide, you can go to the master and copy and paste it. So oh, OK. This one over here, see, I can change it again. I can write it here. But if I do this on the master, then I can do it. I can type on the shape. You don't have to do it for every single slide. Every single one, yeah. <laughs> Oh no! Don't don't do, for this kind of template. Don't don't do the uh, uh, edit master step. Just go to find and replace, and you'll be uh, all set. It'll change it everywhere. Yeah, exactly. And the same. I always hear if you need more pages, duplicate page three. If you only need one slide, with the delete page. I, I try to add, add instructions so you don't lose the the. Flipping the kind of how it looks like when the tab is here and then it moves to the other side and then it's another page covering it covering it up. So if I want another one, I just duplicate the slide and this slide because I'm duplicated has the links. But if I add a new layout, a new slide with this layout, again it won't have the links. You have to set them yourself. So. And then what about deleting slides? Do you recommend deleting slides or just not showing them? Or you, can, them? you can skip them. And if you're sure you're not going to use them, you can go ahead and delete them. But if you're sure you're not going to use them, it's not like I, I know. I, th I don't remember who it was, but I know someone asked me on Twitter, like I thought I thought I was not going to use it and I deleted it. And now what I do, what do I do? And what she did, I guess, is uh, it's import the template as a theme to fix it. I think that's what she did. She went here and she, you go to theme, import theme, and she import the presentation. Oh, uh, okay. So the thing was back there because she was deleting tabs or and stuff, and so Ugh, I, I was. That sounds like a mess. <laughs> yeah. So unless you're unless you're sure you don't want you, you don't want to use them, just leave them. Just leave them. keep like, them there. Skip them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Skip them and that's all. Okay. And what else? Let's see. This one here, this is when I had it open. I had a I made a how to video about this uh adding content on the master. So I'm gonna say it again because I know a lot of people is asking. What happened if you're using with your students and you're sharing a file and you don't want them to move things around? Yeah. And a lot of teachers, all uh, they've been doing like a file uh, download uh, JPG, that's JPG, JPEG. JPEG image, and then they upload it as background. But with this template, that doesn't work because there are shapes in front of the background. So anything you add as background in one show, it will be. So behind. like your tabs would be part in of that, front right? Of the, in front of your shape, in front yeah. of your so it won't show. So this is the easiest way. If I want to, I have my title, my text, and my image. So I'm selecting everything. I'm holding shift and I'm cutting control X, go to slide, edit master. And I always say, go to the layout and duplicate it. And other people is like, why do you have to duplicate it? And I'm going to show you why you have to duplicate it. I'm going to remove the placeholders because I don't need them right now. I'm going to keep source. What happens is that this now is fixed, right? It's not movable. And you, I can start, I can add a placeholder here if they want like something like observe the image and reply or something like that. But if you don't uh, duplicate the layout first, it's going to show on any, any other slide that is using the same layout. Right. So that's so why you just, you, you, just you just delete that slide. Yeah, but what if I had something here, for example? You know, I'm going to undo, I'm going to show you a little bit better. Hold it there. So this 
slide over here. This is uh, something here. And I want this to say this, right? Something here. And I want this to be empty for my students, but I want this to be fixed. So again, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna slide edit master. And if I don't duplicate it and I paste it, when I go to my next slide that is using the same layout, it's going to right. bring it's me the background. Right. Exactly. That's why it's important that whenever you're adding content on the master, before you paste it, just duplicate the layout and be sure that it says used by zero slides. Okay. So now you can paste it. Wait, so go, wait, go back, go back. I'm going, going back. <laughs> right on the bottom where you were. Uh, what, what, what I'm clicking? Yeah. Yes, I'm going to hold it. I'm going to control there. You're going too I'm fast. Paste it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this over here, if you see like my title doesn't look pretty, it comes with uh, Ariel, but it is not keeping my uh, my source formatting. Okay. So I'm just saying keep source formatting. Oh, here. I got so, you. Okay. Okay. Right. Got so it. that's what I'm doing. And because now I duplicated my slide. Oops. No, I don't want to do that. Here. It's empty because I cut it what, what, right. what was here. And I'm using a new layout. Now I have to choose it from here choose and again yeah okay so i have that there and i'm i'm gonna go to the master and i'm gonna insert a placeholder like a body text placeholder and i can just put it here if i want like like i said this was kind of one of the things my daughter had to do like observe an image and describe it so here you can have it the image they won't be able to delete it or move it and the students can start typing so. Well, see, I never used placeholder. You never used placeholder? No, I never used it. So where is that again in, in your format menu? Oh, you slide. have to go a slide, edit master. Placeholders are only on the master. Okay. And you go to insert. Sorry, this is not, I'm, I'm not, I'm on the master layout. This one over here, slide. Insert placeholder. And you can choose uh, title, wow, subtitle, okay. a body text. I'm going to show you why I use uh, placeholders. I'm going to download this copy here, a new fresh one. I'm going to close this one. Use template. Let's see. Like, I text. never used placeholders because when I used when I use Google Slides, I use it more for a presentation tool, not not for uh, collaboration and having kids enter stuff in. Um, so that would be using a placeholder would be a great way of indicating to students, hey, yeah. you have to type something in here. And also they're useful. For example, if it was a presentation and use pl uh, placeholder, text placeholders, and if you were not happy with the font you chose, because I'm using placeholders, I can change the font. So if I'm, I no longer want to use uh, uh, Georgia here and I want, I don't know, Brice Thrift, I can change it here. And if I don't want to use Montserrat here and I want to use, I don't know, Comic Yeah. There you go. And because I'm using placeholders, now, like say, you see that this yeah. one, been updated and that, the same with that I knew like that I knew because I've done that many times in the master but I just never thought of using a placeholder like you just demonstrated to have uh, people students, like students who like, answer. know that they have to like type something in there interesting yeah, you can, yes that you, you can also use like insert text box right right it's, you can you can do that but the beauty of the um, placeholder is that you don't have to set the, like if I insert right now, it's gonna bring, let me see, text box. And then you have to well, format it and then you exactly have to, yeah. Or whatever, so, yeah. yeah. So, and sometimes because you didn't, if you set your font. And they may not before, see it. Exactly, so here, and they're, they're gonna have the, like if I delete this, I always add 
a little text. They're going to see this. Click to. They're going to see it. It's going to be exactly. like some type of prompt there for them. That's, exactly. That's interesting. I'm glad that you you pointed that out. So that yeah. that gives me like food for thought too, because you know, like as an as a as a teacher, you can create a template, you know, your own template even exactly, and then use that placeholder as like an area where you can prompt the kids to type in their response. Exactly. So exactly. like that, that's cool. Okay. That's cool. Wow. I'm learning a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Happy, happy to it's share. Just, happy. Like, we just don't like, I don't use it that way. So, you know, you, when you, when you use these digital tools, you use it the way that you're more, most familiar with, right. To get your information out. Exactly. To, but to your class or to your audience as fast as you can, but the most effective, you know, efficient way yeah. and effective way. So like, you know, you, you're making my window of vision a lot broader because you're showing me like, you know, examples of how it can it can be used. It so, can be used. Yeah, that's awesome. That's why I like I was saying before that with all the tools that are out there, there are out there, if you try to like to master Google Slides and you have like a, your weekly schedule and you use it to share your resources. I'm, I'm talking to those uh, teachers that don't have maybe, uh, then use Google Classroom or their school is not giving them anything because I know though their schools, not, I'm not, I'm not sure there, but here in Spain, I know there are schools that they, like teachers are on their own. So you can just have like a Google Slides for planning your week and you can have like a digital notebook for your students and you can force them a copy and you can have it all together here and you can even adapt I don't know some worksheets that you are using in the classroom and you can adapt to adapt them uh, to Google Slides so they can still work uh, using the same materials that you had when you were uh, face to face so yeah that's like the Google Slides is I love it because there's you can do so much with so, so yeah much with I agree I mean you can definitely do so much with Google Slides I mean and use it really in any class um, not just in you know professional development or whatnot but it can be used so so often and uh, I I you know like I said like you you use what you know and you use it the way you know how to use it right so you know some of these other tools that you're showing off should should help other people as well because if i'm using google presentations as just to show um you know students information obviously you're not using the full extent of the tool exactly exactly you know? so it's so, not only for you to uh, uh give information but you can also use it to retrieve that's it. the word <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, okay. I mean, I, I know like, you know, and a lot of people use like HyperDocs and HyperSlides, you know, so like you have, you I can take it. your digital notebook and then you can link it to different, you know, websites or different, you know, um, files that you have as well. So it's not just limited within, you know, your actual. No, it can be like, it's, it's your one-stop uh, shop, your Google Slides, you can like start from there and then links all like the glue that holds everything <laughs> together yeah. yeah you can have it all together all uh organized in the google slice file and add your links to other uh platforms or tools or whatever yeah well let me share let me share what i did with your slides with your with your template is that okay sure please this is this is the big uh the big um I have to stop sharing my screen. Yeah, right? you can stop sharing. Oh, yeah. Uh, there. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so let me show let me show you this because I was gonna I told you I was gonna share my screen and show off what your uh, template how your template was used. So let me and then you and if you want you know because I think it's important for you to know like and get feedback too. You know what I mean? So let me. All right, I'm gonna. So you can see here which template it is, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I only use the slides that are visible. These ones, I wasn't sure if I was gonna add more information in, so I just hid them. Perfect. Or skipped them. So 
let so let me go here so if i present this this is like the digital handbook that the students are going to get and in my building so i ended up changing the tabs for the checklist <laughs> you know what they need to do uh the etiquette so for virtual meetings and things like that and I actually put here go to page two because i think i I think I messed something up somewhere. Um, so I did this. And then if you have problems with your technology, see, I wasn't done with this, but it's something. Um, reminders, right? And then, you know, again, I wasn't done, but I can't think of anything else to add right now. Some actions, like, you know, maybe this is going to be something that teachers are going to do if you don't follow any of the um, if you're not a good digital citizen, some of their account information so that they can keep track of their usernames and passwords. Passwords. So like this is gonna have to be, they're gonna have to edit this file. Like they'll get their own copy of this. I'll copy, okay. And then this is gonna be like responsible use policy, you know, and and that's, you know. I love it. That's it really. <laughs> like. I. I don't know, like, and I left a lot of blank stuff in there because I wasn't sure <laughs> if I was going to be done. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, you know, it's probably going to be a, a work in progress, but I have to finalize it so that when the kids get it, they have their own copy. The whole thing. Yeah, the whole thing. And I actually think I did do um, some of it was like... Um, I didn't edit the master on some of them, but I think now after this show, I might have to so that they don't change. And exactly. I mean, yeah. they, I would say they will be able to change it. If the kid goes to slide edit master, they will, like it will able, he will be able to move, to move or delete yeah. things. But that's not by mistake. You know what I mean? And this, yeah. you know, what we're trying to avoid is that you let like, you just drag right. your mouse or something and it's just, just moving things around. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, even like even like the text that I have on here, like on some of them, I might just, I might just put that in as a placeholder, and put it in like duplicate the slide and then put it in as a placeholder or whatnot. I got to figure it out, but whatever you showed me today, I can definitely go back into this and revise it so that the kids can't change it. Exactly. You know. So I mean that that's. I mean, like, so just so you know, like people are definitely appreciating your work and your and your and your creativity and everything that you're doing for for teachers, because, you know, I've used other um, a, a, another website for templates and um, this your slides mania just blew up like it just totally like past everything that I've used before. And it's like my go-to site now for, for templates. So I appreciate everything that you've done because I, I know it's, it's you know, it's a passion project. You work full time, you have a family, you know? And, and so like, you know, anything that you're doing on your own time, you know, to make make things better for people is is really, really tells you how much, how much of a good person you really are. <laughs> I enjoy, I, you know, I have no idea how happy it makes me. Every time it's like someone tags me and they're showing me the template being used. It's for me, it's like the world. <laughs> and it's, 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 I can't believe it. And I'm again, I'm from Uruguay, a very small country in South America. So if you Google it, you'll see it's a very small country with 3 million people there. And I live in Spain. I'm far away from my family and stuff. And I see my templates being used in the US, over, in, right? Australia, in Australia. And I'm like, Oh my god it's awesome it's good you should feel I, good I, I'm, I'm i'm totally I, like i will never stop uh, uh, feeling like completely whoa <laughs> yeah i hear you i know what you mean believe me that's awesome i'm glad that you that you feel that way because uh you know it 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 gives you like a like a mission you know it gives you yeah. more incentive to like you know continue to do what you're doing so it's, i it's, appreciate it's, it's like always oh, like you give like I love creating templates, but you are the ones that give it like give slice many a purpose because I don't like I use a couple of my templates, but I don't I don't use them all. Yeah. So when I see everyone else using them, I'm like, 
yeah, that, you're fulfilling the template <laughs> purpose. You're giving it life. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So that's that. It's 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 huge for me. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm glad. That's awesome. I'm glad that you uh, that you that you found you know happiness in doing this for other people. So that, that, that's awesome. Well, that's going to conclude our show for today. Um, again, this was a, this was a very special show. I'm so glad that. Paula was able to be on today and we worked out the time difference with our schedules. I appreciate you being on and taking the time to, to, you know, show the sweet talk audience, you know, your, uh, your expertise and your little bit of your tips and tricks with Google slides. So um, I thank you very much for being thank on. You. <laughs> and what I'm going to do real quick is just wrap up the show. I'm going to share my screen and let me, just show my website. So you can check out The Sweet Talk at thesweettalk.com. And yeah, my my internet connection is a little slow. Um, so if you go to thesweettalk.com, you will find the latest episode here on the homepage. You can also uh, join the Facebook group, subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, follow me on Twitter. It's also my show is also available on Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts as well. Um, and you can also um, check out my new book that I wrote with Alice Keeler. It's called Stepping Up to Google Classroom. It will help you get started with Google Classroom. So that's available on Amazon. If you'd like to support my mission to pay it forward and helping other educators, uh, use EdTech. Uh, you can become a sponsor. I know Paula is here today because she is uh, a sponsor of the Sweet Talk. So I appreciate that. Um, and you will also be able to find any past episodes on the episode page um, and the show notes that will be listed there as well as the YouTube, uh, YouTube link. And if you are using Jamboard, you can check out my Jamboard page on my website as well. Uh, there's a lot of information here, and I did include some new videos on my YouTube channel. So with that being said, I am going to stop sharing my screen and welcome back to Paula. So that concludes our show for today, Paula. Thank you so much for being on. Thank I you really for inviting me. Thank you all for watching. Anytime. Anytime. Anytime you want to come back, you're always welcome. You're part of the Sweet Talk family now. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you everyone for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Take care.